Uh, sure. So the, uh, I reiterate that the election results were certified by the Board of Elections and the election ended on election day. Uh, the city charter, the way that, that our city attorney, Mr. Sussman, and our city manager worked on this, the election results were ended, the, the election was certified, and the, the, uh, the vacancy was created by the failure to elect a city council member. So this position that we find ourselves in is a vacancy on the city council that, according to the Aberdeen city charter says, it must be filled by a nomination from the mayor and a confirmation by the city council. What that means is that every man and woman in Aberdeen who is eligible to serve on the city council is eligible for appointment. Uh, uh, who's been in the city, to be eligible, you have to have been in the city limits for two years uh, and be 21 years of age and a registered voter. Uh, and so uh, what I did with my first vote, uh, my first nomination for Sean to bonus was I put up uh, the person who was tied because I thought maybe this was the best course of action and uh, being the mayor, maybe I get the, the authority with the council to uh, to select who should be selected from the two candidates uh, who tied. Uh, but that was silly, and I get that. Uh, so I said, okay, I'll get the most qualified person I can find who ran for office most recently uh, because he stuck his neck out there and put himself subject to public scrutiny. And so I found Mr. Colleagues, uh, the Naval Academy graduate and very, very intelligent person who wants, who desires to serve the people of Aberdeen. Uh, and so I gave it to the council, and I guess that we have more work to do, but yes, please, for Mr. Collins. So please call, uh, give us the count, Madam Clerk. Councilman Taylor, no. Councilwoman Landback, no. Councilman Linda Camp, no. Mayor McGrady, yes. So the confirmation vote fails uh, one to three. Very good, thank you.